I've always wondered where and how does one start investing their money? What's the first step that one has to take in order to understand these concepts of compound interest and time value of money and opportunity cost? Where does one look to begin? I sought the answer to this question like the pursuit for the holy grail. There's only one best objective way to make and invest money. Or so I thought. I've compiled the answer here for you to decide which method is the best for you and I wanted to make this guide to determine which type of an investor you might be in the context of video games. Because YouTube and why not? And if none of this makes sense to you, then skip to the part where I explain it like a normal person and it'll make perfect sense. But I just wish that I saw a video like this when I was younger because I was overwhelmed by the amount of options to invest your money from the stock market, index funds, mutual funds, dividends, bonds, real estate, cryptocurrency, penny stocks. Which one of these is the best? That's what we're gonna find out today. I'm sorry for the really dramatic music that makes you feel like you're in a Star Wars movie and Darth Vader is just about to pop out any second, but... Hey, my name is Andre Jick. Hope you're having a great week. And I want you to imagine starting up a game and in front of you is a screen of all these different characters to select from, from this game of life. So let's see who we got. Mmm, yep, the index fund investor. Completely useless until you level him up up to a certain point and then he's OP. Definitely top tier and consistently at the top of every level, but historically criticized for just being too easy, brainless, cookie cutter, and they're all very valid critiques but not if you like winning. Remember how sometimes you'd play a fighting game like Street Fighter or Tekken, and then you just button mash, just that one combo, or when Yu-Gi-Oh was a thing and Yada Garasu, you just, heh, heh, and then your opponent would just rage quit? That's this strategy. Also, I'm gonna go over the stats in just a moment, but let's see who else we got. Ah, the real estate investor. I really like this character, despite never having actually played this guy, but they're amazing because they can achieve legendary status faster and almost more consistently than any other character in this lineup, depending on the region of your game. And for all my muggle friends out there, several NPCs, or what's called non-playable characters, have ranked at the top of the leaderboard of life with this one. Very customizable, he's got multiple skins, but usually they're seen wearing a decked out suit to show off their fancy ability called leverage. And this ability allows their stats to grow exponentially faster than all the other characters in this lineup times five. But there is a catch because sometimes they'll level down multiple levels instead of up. It's never guaranteed, but when you're playing this character, pro tip, do not ever criticize or say they're not the best because they've got a very strong community support and they won't take well to that. You might just get shadow banned. They've got such a strong loyal following in the USA expansion pack of this game. Let's see what else we got. Hello, I'm a Mac. That was weird, but this is my favorite character of all time. If you love role-playing games or RPGs and collecting every item in the game, this character might be for you. His special ability is infinite lives if you use them decently. Well, maybe not infinite, but a lot of one-ups. So when the game starts to get more and more difficult and all the other characters have just rage quit, this one just keeps on going. And the longer you play this character, the easier and more fun the game gets. Now the goal of this character isn't to get you to the top of the leaderboard the quickest, but like the turtle and the hare, it's gonna get you there slowly but surely. And also these guys clear the final boss level taxes really efficiently. The downside though, so much grinding. This is my profile and stats with this character, but it took me like five years to get to this point. Yeah, this video is ridiculous, but it's about to get way better. Next up is Cryptocurrency Investor.
Yeah, that's awkward, but you should still play this character at least 10% of your time. This guy's special ability is aimlessly wandering around until he just glitches and puts you at the top of the leaderboard and you basically win life. A lot of people have done that, but if you play this character for too long because you're having so much fun, he's inevitably going to glitch back down and put you in last place. So quit while you're ahead and spend no more than 10% of your life playing with this character. He's fun and a well-rounded team must have one, but just be careful. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, this character is asleep and useless most of the time. Not gonna lie, every character on this list beats this character, except for when the market crashes, so you play the flute, wake him up like you would a Snorlax, rebalance your character stats, and then he becomes clutch. Now, a lot of people will swear by this strategy, especially older people. I don't play this one, but okay, Boomer. Let's see what else we got. Ah, penny stock investor. Again, super similar to cryptocurrency investor, but one phrase to summarize this character. Button mashing. Again, sometimes you'll get super lucky and just 360 no scope someone, but that's so rare. This character's controls are never consistent. They're all over the place. And in order to win with this character, you either have to know the game developer, use a game shark, or just straight up jailbreak and hack the game entirely. And it's a lot of fun figuring out how to do that, until your IP gets banned by the SEC. Or Nintendo, <laughs> same thing. Now those are all the major characters and if you've stuck around, then thank you. You are the 1% and I thank you ahead of time for smashing that like button. But I have tried all of these in the stock market from growth stocks to dividend stocks, bonds, penny stocks, cryptocurrency, real estate in the form of REITs, not physical property. I have a lot of friends in real estate, but just remember when watching this video, there is no best. It's just what fits your play style or your lifestyle and what's most fun for you and your goals. So now, let me give you a normal explanation of all of these different forms of investing and which one you might actually be. The easiest and simplest way to get started with investing, whenever someone asks, Andre, I want to start investing, what do I do? This is your answer, index fund investing. And I would never say to do this unless it was something I wasn't doing myself. So inside the M1 Finance, inside my Roth IRA account, I own an index in the form of an exchange traded fund called VTI. It's roughly valued at around one $150, but by investing in that one stock, I'm spread across thousands of different companies in the stock market. So whatever the stock market is doing that year, I'm going to replicate the performance exactly the same way. Index investing is literally for everyone, and you can get started right away by downloading a free app called Robinhood. By signing up, you get one free stock, Webull, another brokerage by signing up one free stock valued at up to $500 and by funding your account any dollar amount, let's say you put in $100, you can get up to $1,400. That's three free stocks right there. So it's free to get started today and you'll be so surprised to see how much your money will grow so fast. Roughly, your money will double every 10 years in the stock market. Real estate investing is amazing, especially if you prioritize cash flow and it gives you so much peace of mind for owning something that's real and physical that you can touch and control, unlike stocks which seem ethereal and conceptual. But real estate has made more millionaires than any other asset class because of that special ability leverage. And that's what people will call good debt. I wish my circumstances allowed me to be a real estate investor, but I wasn't raised that way. And I'm terrified of debt, good or bad. I don't want it. And I don't have the time nor the interest to get my hands dirty. And unfortunately, that's where the best deals are something called wedge deals. And suffice it to say, no one says suffice it to say, but the downside to real estate investing is debt. And of course you need quite a bit of money to get started. But two resources I really recommend and trust are Graham Stephan and Meet Kevin. Definitely go check them out if you wanna learn more about real estate. Dividend investing, who is it for? This is what I'm doing with my portfolio that's paying me roughly $7,000 per year. I could be in any part of this world, sleeping under a bridge with Jack Dawson, and I would still get paid the same amount regardless of what the stock price is with 
within reason. And you could be a dividend investor if you prioritize something that's almost completely passive, doesn't require a lot of work, and if you don't like that stomach drop feeling when ugh, you see your stock price go up and down all the time because dividend stocks fall less hard during a stock market crash. Dividends are taxed advantageously though, but the downside like real estate is that it requires a lot of money so you're not gonna get rich quick. For example, for every $100,000 that you invest into dividends, you're gonna make back four to $5,000 per year. But the goal is not to make back your initial principal of $100,000 in 20 years. That is not the goal. The goal is to have that 100 grand grow in value over time as well as the passive income without lifting a finger. I love dividend investing and so much of my channel is dedicated to talking about how awesome it is and showing you how powerful it is. And most of the stock market's growth in the last many decades can be attributed to dividend growth stocks. And if you're a contrarian, which I am, and you believe that someday national fiat currencies will go to zero, then having exposure to things like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash can be great hedges against traditional forms of investing. And I like to think of them as little lottery tickets that can grow a little bit of money into vast fortunes in a short amount of time. But it's not guaranteed, which is why I keep no more than 10% of my net worth invested in this asset class. But the risk versus reward ratio is very favorable. Where gold is a store of value for older generations, I think cryptocurrency is a store of value for the digital age. But only invest here if you're feeling really brave or if you're really pessimistic about the future of fiat currency. When the stock market crashes, bonds add a lot of value by reducing your volatility. Not everyone needs to have bonds, and if you're young, I would not recommend investing in bonds because they're a very conservative investment. Instead, if you've already built a giant net worth and you wanna protect your investments, then bonds might be the way to go for you because they reduce volatility, but they give you a smaller rate of return equal to about inflation at 2% per year. And if you're trying to chase wealth and riches very quickly, then I've got a free ebook to send you and a course to sell you. <laughs> Just kidding, I've got nothing to sell you, but your best bet is day trading, penny stocks, and options. Now, if you wanna escape your nine to five job and you have all the time in the world from the market open to the market close to studying chart patterns to the second, then you're not gonna succeed here. 99% of people who try this will fail and lose money. Now, instead of chasing profits fast, let compound interest and time do the work for for you with less work. I know it can be a lot of fun to try this and there are people who have absolutely crushed it and have made way more money than any of us will ever make with these options. Pun intended, but I still don't recommend it. Of all of these investment strategies, real estate, dividends, and index fund investing are my favorites. Of course, there's a ton of other ones like Stash, Acorns, Wealthfront, Wealthsimple, Digit, Webull, get your two free stocks, and Robinhood, get your free stock. But there is one universal truth here. Here. Death and taxes suck. <laughs> the other universal truth here is that great investing is either gonna take your time or your money. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Oh, and this whole thing right behind me, this is my spreadsheet that keeps track of all of your stocks and tells you some great information, keeps everything automated. So if you wanna feed me, I mean, support my channel and support my work, you can find that on my Patreon page. And uh, which of these investment characters are you guys finding yourself wanting to play with the most? That's it, love you guys. Enjoy your week and I'll see you all lovely people on Friday.